So today I'm going to be showing you how to apply eyeshadow perfectly, a universally flattering method that looks literally perfect on every single girl. Now this is going to enhance your beauty and I'm doing this video because I do think that the beauty community has perpetuated some ideas about eyeshadow application that are insane. I love eyeshadow a lot, but I think that there's a real separation in my appreciation for beauty enhancing seamless, gorgeous, natural makeup, and the, the kind of beauty community's evolution into spotlight eyes, cut creases, things that are really, really hard to do, that require a lot of time, skill, and product, which a lot of people just don't have. We're gonna strip that down and take away the time, skill, and product. We're gonna make this easy, we're gonna make it effortless, and look like a makeup artist did it, but use techniques that are no fail. Let's get into it. Here we are, you and me, baby. And I'm doing a voiceover as I always do. Now I'm gonna show you how to apply eyeshadow perfectly, of course, but we're gonna talk about some things that are maybe not so obvious. This is a peach color corrector. This is used to correct the blue tones and the gray tones in your skin that are usually around the eye area if you didn't get enough sleep or if it's hereditary like me. Now I'm gonna do this to even out the complexion and create a really great base. One of the main reasons eyeshadow can look bad is if your eyes are oily, it just won't stick. And of course, we want all of the hard work to stay all day. So we're gonna add essentially what is like a glue for your eyes. This is an eyeshadow primer. I like this one, it's tried and true. And I will link, of course, all of the products that I use below, but feel free to try out which ones work for you. I'm gonna put this all over the lid, all the way up to the crease, and then set it with a powder. This has to be one of the most underrated aspects of applying eyeshadow. And the reason you add this powder is to create a micro powder canvas across the eye, which will interact so well with any shadows you press on top or blend on top. This means you're gonna have a really seamless and easy time applying your eyeshadow. And if you skip this step, you can assure yourself that you're gonna have a hard time with blending. Now both the under eye and the upper area of the eye are primed and ready to go for any type of application that you want. But today I'm gonna to be showing you my melting technique. Now this is not just about putting color on the eye, this is about sculpting, lifting, and creating an eye that is alluring and beautiful, no matter what colors you choose. Now let's talk about brushes. This big fluffy brush is gonna be key. This will diffuse color onto the eye, but deposit hardly any. This one is going to diffuse and deposit color, and then the last brush you're gonna need for this tutorial is this packing brush, which will not blend eyeshadow. If you ever see people with unblended eyeshadow, it's because they only use this packing brush and they don't have any fluffy brushes to uh, their name. So it's good to invest in at least one, maybe two. And when you get your brushes, please don't splay them. This is when you press the brush so hard into the skin that you're ruining the functionality of the brush. This brush is tapered and fluffy for good reason. So when you use a gentle hand, you're actually letting the brush do the work for you. Keep this in mind as you apply your eyeshadow. Now today, we're not just gonna be working with any shadows, we're gonna be working with the most flattering shadows, which are always neutrals. The second best thing to look for is matte colors that don't have any shimmer. This will flatter absolutely everybody, so that's why I'm doing this today. You're gonna need a shade that is three shades darker than your skin, seven shades darker than your skin, and then something that's really bright and light, like a cream or a white. Now I'm gonna start with the shade that is three shades darker than my skin, and I'm gonna apply this into the crease of the eye with my big, diffusing, fluffy blending brush. This is gonna create contrast between the brow bone and the eyelid, beautiful. The aim with this technique is to make it look as though the color is melting into the skin. We don't wanna see any harsh transitions or seams, and that's why I'm using tones that are very similar to my skin tone, but using shades that are slightly darker and lighter. The next step is to take your darkest shade and start etching this into the lower lash line, bringing it downwards in a little bit of a V motion. As you realize there's less and less product on the brush, you wanna start etching this outwards to the middle of the eye, but never extending past the middle. I like a medium opacity for my eyeshadow, so I'll go back in three or four times to bring this up to the level that I'm happy with. And you need to constantly stop and assess, are there any harsh lines? And if there are, go back and blend those out before moving on. Now for this next step, you need a really bright powder. This one is going to be used with the packing brush only. I'm gonna pack this onto the inner corner and extend it to the middle of the eye very messily. I don't need to make this look blended. And keep in mind how high you bring the eyeshadow will then make your eyelid look that much larger. So bring your eyeshadow as high as you'd like in this area. Taking more of that darkest brown, I'm gonna etch this into the outer edge of the eye. And once I notice that I have hardly any product, I'm gonna bring this brush into the middle of the eye area over top of that excess bright powder. There is no fire involved, but your eyeshadow is now melted. It literally looks seamless and you cannot tell where it starts and begins and each color fades into the next beautifully. 
Take that same light eyeshadow and apply it in a really small amount on the highest point of your brow. And now all you have to figure out is what kind of eyeliner you want to do. I'm sticking with the theme of eyeshadow, so I'm actually going to be using a black shadow as an eyeliner today. This is a lot more natural looking, and this will diffuse the lash line, which will enhance the melted shadow look, and also make your lashes look very, very full. I'm going to curl my lashes, add mascara, and then my favorite Demi Wispy lashes. These are literally amazing. Put these as close to your lash line as you possibly can. I love the look of lash extensions, but I don't really love getting them. So I apply mine so close to the lash line that they actually end up looking flirty like they're my real lash extensions. My favorite thing to do for the lower lash line is to add that darkest brown shadow and just press it in until it looks diffused and pretty. It just softens the eye and it's very, very flattering. This is what it looks like. And I'm always really pleased with myself. This is one of those things I'm always looking in the mirror like, damn, this looks nice. <laughs> and that is the completed tutorial. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you didn't, thumbs down. I'll see you in my next one. I love you. Bye-bye.